everybody. In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at the Cybertruck spare tire. And in case you're wondering, why don't I just buy a tire and rim off eBay? Well, I'm going to show you what else comes with the Cybertruck spare tire and toolkit that you can get on the Tesla shop. Uh, last time I checked, I believe it was $1,250, which is on the spendy side. But then again, we've got a Cybertruck. So why don't we start with the obvious, which is the 33-inch spare wheel and tire. Um, if you buy it from Tesla, this will come mounted and balanced uh, for you in, in a nice bag. Uh, so, so that's one benefit of uh, getting it. We've got the Goodyear Type 40 RTs, which of course match the 33-inch all-terrain tires we've got on our cyber truck. So that's uh, step one. We know we've got the right wheel tire. It's mounted, balanced, and uh, properly inflated. Uh, take a look at the DOT stamp date over there. Uh, uh, one thing I will note about this spare wheel and tire kit is that it's often difficult to find uh, in stock in the Tesla shop. So if you're thinking about it or seriously considering it and you happen to find it available in the shop, uh, you may want to uh, definitely get it. Uh, it can take one to two months to come into your local Tesla service center. In my case, it's a little over two months. Uh, for all the parts to come in, and there are a few parts here, um, but we'll, we'll go through it right now. And I, I did mention it's uh, it's balanced, and you can see that they've got the wheel weight inside here. So that's how you know that this uh, did go through the balancing process. So, in addition to the wheel, tire, and cover, and I'll flip around and show that to you in a moment. Uh, we also get this nice uh, molded foam hub, which when we mount the tire inside the bed. This uh, very conveniently fits inside the pocket there on the on the wheel. So they all kind of tuck in together in the back of the bed there. You also get this heavy duty uh, tool uh, to connect to the socket to you know pry the lugs off. So I really wish that would be a little bit longer because you need uh, some leverage to get those off. But that's what's there, and you'll also find inside of that pocket, you find this, which is uh, the actual kit itself. So inside the kit comes with instructions, but the, the big thing you find here is the jack, and Cybertruck is heavy, and so you need a heavy-duty jack. So you've got a four-ton jack here along with all the attachments. You've got the appropriate sockets here. Um, and everything else you'll need to safely jack up the the beast that you know love and drive all the time so uh, along with instructions so this is an important component to the kit you can certainly go to harbor freight or home depot and find your favorite uh, bottle jack or equivalent jack there uh, just make sure it's uh, appropriately rated for the weight of the vehicle so in this case a four ton jack will definitely cover it it's got some nice uh, snaps on the side here. Keep it closed, along with the carrying handle. I'm not sure if you can carry this thing. Pop that shut. And of course, when you're filming video, everything falls out because it won't shut. So let me just uh, pop this back, all these pieces back in here, and then we'll pick this back up. You know, sometimes that happens when you, you film things for the first time, but hey, why should we reshoot stuff, right? We'll just keep going. Back in a minute. Okay, now that's sealed up, and I will mention this jack is uh, not only heavy duty, it's pretty heavy. So what you definitely don't want to do is drop that on your foot or on your hand. So now we can lift this up and insert this inside the enclosure, and that's good to go. So we can slide this up in the bed, get it close to position, and now comes the tricky part. So one of the things I did do before sh starting this video is I dropped the truck into entry height to make it easier to deadlift the you know, reasonably heavy wheel and tire into the bed. Um, if you think that might be a struggle for you, please do ask somebody to, to help you. It's not light, I would guess 50, 60 pounds, um, plus then probably another 20, 30 pounds for the, the jack and, and tools. So it, it is a pretty weighty set of things. Uh, so let me go ahead and do that off camera, just uh, lift that into the bed, and then we'll roll everything into position and, and get it secured. And now we successfully 
deadlifted our uh, wheel and tire and dropped it in the bed. By the way, if you're looking for a Rocky IV style workout, for those of you who are older like me, you'll get the reference. We're out here in Frigia, New Jersey, where it's about 10, 15 degrees. You kind of squat that thing 15, 20 times, do a few sets, you'll find you're really uh, building up those quads. So now we've got everything in the bed. You can see the cover, which of course has the Cybertruck logo on it, because if it comes from Tesla and it's for the Cybertruck, just like you've got the Cybertruck logo here, you can take a closer look at that. I don't know why, but everything apparently has to have the Cybertruck logo. So now we've got the two main pieces in the bed. So what we'll first do is slide the foam hub into place near the, the front of the bed. And then we'll have to lift this up, drop it on top of the foam hub, or maybe we'll kind of put the foam hub near the middle, put the tire on top of that, and then slide it back. And then what we'll do is we'll then secure this to the front using the D-rings over there. Ignore my uh, other straps I've got sitting around and uh, bungee cords, but we'll connect it to a D-ring there and a D-ring behind the wheel on that side. Those are the attachment points for the little carabiners that come on the side of the tire. So let me uh, get the hub inside the wheel, and then we'll uh, slide it into place and secure it. One thing I will note, and it's somewhat counterintuitive, at least to me who stuck it in backwards the first time, is that you're not gonna have the foam side sitting on the bed. In fact, the way this is built is that the foam will only fit snugly inside the wheel well in one orientation, which is with the case side sticking out. So when you mount this back in the bed here, so you're actually sitting on the case. And in fact, you can see this has been sitting in here for about three or four months, that there are wear marks on the case from this moving a little bit. I would have thought they would actually sit on the foam side down on the bed. Uh, both to protect the bed and protect the, the case and stuff, but no such luck. So it actually sits with this side uh, facing down. So that's a, it's a good tip. I learned the hard way and actually put it in the wrong way and had to use a little bit of a pry tool here in order to flip it around and, and get it back out. But no harm done. Now we've got it set up the right way and we'll roll it into place and get going. And there we go. Now we've got it sitting here on the bed. And what you'll see is we've got a couple of uh, straps here on the side that we can use to secure to the D-rings. I can uh, get the camera over the proper way, not have my hand in the way. So we've got the D-rings here. So you just lift these up and uh, snap on and then I'll snap. I'm not going to adjust the tension on it yet because I want to make sure I get both sides on properly first. These D-rings, if you don't have them installed in your bed and if you've got a foundation series, you already have the D-rings installed. If you have a non-foundation series, you're going to need some way to secure these in the bed. Um, the non-foundation series, if you do order this kit from Tesla, will come with the with a pair of D-rings. So if you have a foundation series and you order the kit, you end up getting an extra pair of D-rings. Um, so I've got an extra set if anyone needs it. Um, and then this will just snap into place on this side. And you think that'd be easier, but I think what I should have done, because this is a fixed strap that's stitched in on this side, is I should start with this side because it'll be easier to get this one on because this I can open up on the top here. And I think that's probably the way to do it is loosen up that strap. Give myself a little more play here. Lift this back up and it can be a little trickier to get this done one handed while you're filming. There we go. Eventually you get it though. So there we go, so that's on, that one's on. Now we can snap this one back into place, which I may end up needing two hands for, so I'll do that in a second. And then we'll finally adjust the, the strap tension with the Velcro here, so we can probably just loosen this up now. Let's see if we can uh, kind of one hand this. 
may not be possible because I'm not that coordinated. All right, and there you have it. We've got the strap tightened back up on the Velcro. This side snug, that side snug. We got our spare wheel and tire mounted back in the bed, and that'll do it for this video. Make sure to like and subscribe. We greatly appreciate it, and we'll keep trying to get more content out to you. Thanks, and have a great day.